Hello. Happy Monday. Happy chair yoga day. Maybe it's not Monday when you'll be watching this, but it's Monday today. Um, welcome to chair yoga. As always, please remember there's no pressure in this class uh, and that I invite you to move in ways that feel okay in your body. Nothing should be painful. Sharp pain is uh, not okay. If anything hurts in that way, please stop doing it. Um, you'll feel some stretching sensation or um, things like that, but nothing should cause any sharp pain. Um, yeah. So please always uh, work to tune into and listen to what your body needs today. So... I think that's all I need to say. So let's take a minute to get centered. Oh, you may want a strap for class today or a belt um, or a necktie, but something strappy just for one thing we're going to do, but you don't have to have it if you don't have one. Um, so yeah, we'll do a little warming up. We'll move. Uh, and then we'll do some relaxation and meditation at the end of class. So welcome. Take a minute to lengthen the spine. Reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling as you allow the shoulders to melt down away from the ears. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. And just take a minute to welcome yourself to your yoga practice. Thank yourself for making the time to care for yourself today. Self-care is not selfish. Anything we can do these days to bring ourselves some moments of peace and calm and contentment are a good thing. <laughs> so today's practice, we're going to focus on the heart chakra. So chakras are said to be energetic highways that flow through our body, and um, they're kind of the crossroads of our energetic highway. And sometimes they can spin too fast or spin too slow, and it can leave us feeling a little bit out of balance. Um, so today's focus is the heart chakra, which is also called anahata. So take a minute to sort of hold your attention on your heart center, your chest area. So this is the fourth chakra and its color is green. It represents compassion, relationship with others. Its element is air. And if it's moving too slow, if our heart chakra is spinning a little too slow, it can lead us to feel some dependency, jealousy, judgmental, maybe a little depressed. And if it's spinning too fast, we can feel critical, jealous, clingy, so the poses that go along with the heart chakra are lots of heart opening, arms, partner poses, but we will not be doing any partner poses today because I don't have a partner. <laughs> yeah, so just take a minute to allow your focus to be both on your heart center and on the breath. So feeling the cool air coming in through your nose, filling up the lungs, the belly, and then the warm air, leaving the nose on the exhale. And then I invite you to say a little affirmation with me along uh, to coordinate with your breath. So on your inhale, I invite you to say to yourself, I am worthy of love. And on the exhale, say to yourself, I live in balance with others. 
So slow inhale. I am worthy of love. Slow exhale. I live in balance with others. And let's just repeat that to ourselves for a few rounds of slow, deep breaths. Inhale, I am worthy of love. Exhale, I live in balance with others. Just go ahead and gently blink open the eyes. Check your posture here. We want the, the ankles directly under the feet. <laughs> the ankles directly under the feet. That's funny. We want the feet directly under the knees. <laughs> ankles directly under the knees. Again, check your posture. Maybe draw the shoulders up, back, and down. Draw the low belly in, and we'll just start kind of trying to get warmed up a little bit. So on an inhale, we're going to bring both arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Inhale, I am worthy of love. Exhale, I live in balance with others. You can stick with that affirmation throughout practice if you like. Just a nice, slow, meditative movement, connecting the movement with the breath, which is what has a calming effect on our body and can help regulate the spinning of our chakras. So always inhale as we rise, exhale as we lower. Open mouth exhales might be nice. Let's take one more. Good. Inhale the arms up. The right fingertips are going to grab that left wrist. We're going to lift up out of the pelvis and then take a side bend over to the right. Keeping that left shoulder drawing back so we're not rounding into it. Trying to bring all kinds of spaciousness to the left side body. Keep that left hip rooted. And continue with that slow breath. Slow, full breath. Keep the low belly drawn in. Good. Inhale. Come on back to center. Release your grip and we'll take the side bend to the left. So the left fingertips now grab the right wrist. Inhale. Reach up out of the pelvis. Exhale. Side bend to the left. Keeping the right hip rooted and directing your breath into the right side body. Feeling all kinds of length and space in your right ribs. And notice how your slow, deep, full breaths um, sort of intensify or um, magnify that stretch in the right side body. Inhale back to center, release the arms down, maybe shake them out a little bit. We'll continue to warm up the spine with a twist. So bring your arms to cactus arms, and we're gonna inhale, twist to the right, exhale, twist to the left. So I invite you to move at your pace, whatever speed works for you today to coordinate with the breath. So we're inhale right, exhale left. And if you want to move a little faster, 
you're welcome to do that. This is a great one for sort of getting energized to start your day. Keep that low belly in, strong, straight spine. Good, come on back, put the palms up on your thighs, lower the gaze for just a minute. Returning to your affirmation on your inhale, I am worthy of love. On your exhale, I live in balance with others. Good. And we'll take the inhale and the exhale the opposite way this time. So bring the arms back up to cactus arms. This time we're going to inhale left, exhale right. Keep the belly in. Move at your pace. One more, and come on back, palms up on the thighs, lower the gaze, notice how you feel. Again, our goal here today with our heart chakra focus is to get our chakra spinning at the perfect speed so that we feel a little bit uh, a little boost in our mood, perhaps. Maybe we feel a little bit more compassion for other people. Maybe our relationships with others will feel more in line or productive or beneficial to everybody. Good. All right, let's take a few rounds of cat cow, our final um, spine stretch. <laughs> we got to warm up the spine before we move in other ways. So let's inhale. We're going to arch the back, draw the shoulder blades together. Heart lifts, chin lifts, exhale the opposite. Scoop out the belly, widen the shoulder blades, chin drops. And that's our flow. So inhale, arch the back. Exhale, widen the shoulders. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. You can link your affirmation with this. Inhale, I am worthy of love. Exhale, I live in balance with others. A few more on your own at your pace. Two more. Good. Come on back up to neutral. Now that we've moved our spine in every possible way that it can move, hopefully we feel a little bit more free, more loose. If you do nothing else regularly, um, do those spine stretches every day. So flexion and inflection, the twisting, and the side bending. Your spine will love you for it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do neck brushing. Now, this can feel a little bit weird, um, and it is a little weird, but it's said to stimulate your glands and also sort of release pent-up emotion. So, um Let's try it. So we're going to lift the chin up and forward slightly. And we're just going to take the hands, the backs of the fingers, and just sort of 
go all the way from the collarbone up out the chin. And just sort of think about how weird this is, but trust the process, trust that it's doing what it's supposed to do. I think this is also a way to tell somebody off in Italian, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> just sort of brush those fingers up the neck. I'm alternating hands, but you can just use one hand if that's better for you. Good. Go ahead and stop. And we'll just loosen up the neck a little bit. So let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder and extend that left arm out and down at a diagonal. It's a little early, so maybe we don't have a lot of tension in our neck yet, but these are good to do throughout the day if you're sitting at your computer or your desk. Just allow your focus to be on the left side of the neck. And then maybe move that left arm back a little bit and then lower the chin. The head is still tilted to the right, but we're gonna lower the chin towards the chest and then maybe just a nice slow back and forth. A lift of the chin, a lower of the chin. If you notice any sweet spots in there, you can kind of stay there and breathe. Good, bring the left hand back to the left leg Head comes back up to neutral, and we're just going to drop the chin straight down to the chest. Keep with that slow, deep, even breath. Inhale, chin comes back up to neutral. We'll take it on the other side. So the left ear to the left shoulder, relax the shoulders down. And then that right arm's gonna extend out and down at a diagonal to the right. Allowing your focus to settle on the right side of the neck now. Then we'll bring the right arm back towards your back wall a little bit, keeping the head tilted to the left. The chin lowers and lifts. Again, noticing if there's any spots where you're kind of like, oh, I feel tension or a little um, tightness. Go ahead and pause in those places and breathe. And bring the right hand back to your lap and slowly lift the head back up to center. And one more time, we're just going to drop the chin to the chest. If you'd like to, you can interlace the fingers at the back of the head and just allow a little gentle pressure. We're not pushing anything here. Just creating a little traction in the between the head and the hands. So the head is pushing into the hands slightly and the hands are just allowing the, the weight of the arms to deepen that sensation in the back of the neck. Keep the chin where it is, release the hands. And nice and slow, lift the chin back up to neutral. So this is where you're going to want your strap, your belt, your necktie, your towel, 
whatever works. And we're gonna take, so these are, we're gonna move into cow face arms. Oh, the sun's coming out. So we're gonna take that right arm up by our right here, here so that we have that longer strap hanging behind us. And we're gonna bend that right elbow. I'll turn a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So we're bending that right elbow. We're gonna bring the left hand, the back of the hand to our back and grab that strap. I mean, maybe you can grab fingertips, maybe not. You do what works for you, but we're gonna try to keep the chin lifted and the low ribs drawn in. So again, the back should look like this. This is a big shoulder stretch. We're working on the heart opening. So feel some lightness in your heart center. Slow, deep, even breaths. Maybe return to our affirmation on an inhale. I am worthy of love. And on the exhale, I live in balance with others. Which is not always easy to do these days, isn't it? <laughs> First, let's release that left hand and then release the right hand and shake out the arms a little bit. And we'll take cow face arms on the other side. So this time the left arm reaches up. There's a strap behind your back. We're going to bend that left elbow. Right hand reaches back behind us. So the back of the hand is against the, the spine. And you'll notice, if you're anything like me, one side is very different from the other. I don't know if it has anything to do with being right-handed or not, but I cannot get nearly as deep into the stretch on this side as I can the other side, but maybe that's just me. Who knows? Keep the chin lifted, belly in, lower ribs drawn in, so we're not bringing much arch into the back, and all kinds of lightness in the heart center. And breathing. So to come out of the pose, we're going to release that right hand first and then release the left hand. And I think that's, oh, we may use the strap later for something else. So keep it handy. You can set it to the side for now. And we're going to do um, a gradual progression of sun salutations. So we're going to start with just the arms. So we're going to inhale the arms up by the ears. Exhale, lower the arms back down to the hips. Two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Now we're going to add a forward fold here. So we're going to inhale the arms up. On an exhale, we're going to hinge at the waist to come to a forward fold which may be forearms on the knees and the head hangs heavy, or the torso drapes over the thighs and the head hangs heavy. And then we're gonna inhale it all the way back up. Exhale, release the hands to heart center. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, whatever that looks like for you. Remember, there's no competition in yoga. Inhale the arms up. Exhale to heart center, last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale to heart center. And we're gonna add on again. So we're gonna inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. So the right hand reaches for the back of the chair. The left hand comes to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, arms back through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale to heart center. Two more of those. And so we're getting some heat built up here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift it all the way back up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Hands to heart center. We're going to add on one more thing. We're going to add a side bend at the end. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, right hand comes to the seat of the chair, left arm. We side bend over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale through center, palms touch. Exhale to heart center. Two more of those. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise it all the way up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center, palms touch. Exhale to heart center. Last one, I'm going to keep my mouth shut this time so you can really focus on connecting the movement with your breath. Take a minute here, maybe release the hands, lower your gaze. Just notice how it feels after all that movement. Notice if you've created some warmth in your body. Maybe your heart's beating a little bit faster. Return to your, our affirmation. So let's take two breaths. Inhale, I am worthy of love. Exhale, I live in balance with others. Again, inhale, I am worthy of love. Exhale, I live in balance with others. Good. All right, so we're going to move into a um, seated high lunge. So we're going to bring both knees over to the right. And that left butt cheek is gonna kind of hang off the seat of your chair. And your options here are to bring the left knee forward towards me and stay here if that feels right in your body. If you want to, you can bring that left knee down and see how that feels in your body. Or you can extend that left leg all the way straight. My couch is getting in the way. Right, so this is high lunge in a chair, but the left knee can be bent or the left foot on the floor in front. You got your options, right? All right, so we're gonna find our version of high lunge, whatever that is, and we're gonna inhale the arms up by the ears, 
And then on an exhale, we're going to bring the arms to cactus arms and kind of open the heart center again, since we're focusing on the heart chakra. Inhale, we're going to extend the arms up by the ears. Exhale, cactus arms, a little bit of a back bend here. Keep the belly engaged. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus, two more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, open the heart. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale, both arms up. And then release the hands. And we're going to bend that left knee if it isn't already. And we're going to spin around to take that series on the other side. So both knees are over to the left of your chair, the right butt cheeks kind of hanging off the chair. Remember your options, do whatever you did on the first side. So right knee pointed towards me, right knee to the ground. Keep your right toes tucked under though, or maybe that right leg goes straight. You do what works for you. Inhale the arms up, exhale, little back bend, arms to cactus. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, cactus, two more. Good, inhale the arms up and release the hands. Bend into that right knee. Come on back through center. Now we're going to take warrior two, a seated warrior two in our chair. So again, I know we're moving around on our chair a lot today. So both knees to the right. Again, option, option, or to move into full warrior two, that left leg is straight. The left foot is flat on the floor, parallel to the left side of your room. The hips are a little bit squared towards the front or knee. And we're going to inhale the arms up to shoulder height, reaching the hands in both directions. And we'll find a flow here. So take a breath in and on an exhale, the gaze and the hands come to the heart center. Inhale, gaze over the right fingertips, tips, extend the arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're going to come into Ganesha Mudra here. So we're going to interlace or kind of grip the fingers together like this, right? And we're going to lift the hands over the head. We're going to bring that left or right tricep to our right ear. And we're going to take a little bit of a side bend back over that left leg. So this is a version of reverse warrior. So we're bringing all kinds of length into the right side body. Keep that left leg strong and active. Connect with your slow, deep breath. The breath is always our barometer. If we can't get a slow, deep, full breath, back out of the pose a little bit. No harm there. Good. On your next inhale, let's come back to warrior two and hold it for a couple breaths. And release the arms. Bend into that left knee. And we'll swing around and take it on the other side. So warrior two to the left. So now the right butt cheeks hanging off. Option for the right knee to come forward. You can take your warrior two this way. That's perfect. Or you extend that right leg back. Right foot is now, uh, the outer edge of your right foot is now parallel with the right side wall. Hips are squared forward as much as possible. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height and gaze out over those left fingertips. And we'll take our flow. So take a breath in 
and on an exhale, gaze forward, hands to heart center. Inhale, I am worthy of love. Exhale, I live in balance with others. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it into the heart. Just take one more. Good. Ganesha Mudra the other way, so the opposite way you did it before. So the fingers are just clasped. We're going to inhale the fingers over the head, and then we're going to bring the left tricep to the left ear. And we take a, a, a side bend over to the right, any amount, a little, a lot. It doesn't matter. You do what works for you today. And breathe. On your next inhale, come on back up to warrior two for a few breaths. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Right leg is active and strong. And release the arms, bend into that right knee. Come on back to facing forward. One of my favorite heart openers that I do a lot while I'm at work is to bring both hands back to the back of your chair. And we're going to lean forward so the hands are holding us up and we're inviting all sorts of space and length into the heart center, the collarbones. Keep the crown of the head or the cervical spine in line with the rest of the spine. So we're kind of looking down, but reaching the crown of the head to the front of the room. Allowing the weight of our body to provide the stretch here for us. Deep breathing. So this is a great antidote for lots of time on your phone or your computer. Sort of the opposite of when we're hunched over our devices. Good, then just bring yourself back up. We're going to come to stand. We're going to, let's face the back of the chair. So we're going to do downward facing dog with our chair. So the hands come to the back of the chair and we're going to walk the feet out until we have all kinds of length in the spine. So the spine is just as long and straight as it can be. Now the knees can stay bent here if, if that feels better in your hamstrings or the backs of your legs. Or you can play with straightening one leg at a time. We call that walking the dog. Or both legs extend straight. You do what works. I'm more concerned about the length in the spine than the whether your legs are straight or not. Imagine there's space in between each vertebrae of your spine. And connecting with your slow, deep, even breath. And then we're going to gradually lift it up. We're going to stay uh, behind our chair here. We're going to go for a quad stretch. So our quad stretch is grabbing our left ankle. If you're like, that's not happening for me, this is where you can use your strap again. So if you bring the strap around that left ankle or the left foot, and you can lift it up that way. Does that make sense? Well, you can't answer me because can't hear you. But we're just going to lift that left foot up any amount and keeping the goal in mind to um, keep our knees as close to together as we can. 
So this is working the front part of the left thigh. Slow deep breaths. And then if you want to from here, we can move into dancer pose. So if you're using your strap, we're just gonna lean forward and kind of lift that left leg up and back. And we're holding onto the chair with that right hand. So again, think of the heart center, that's our focus today. So we're not rounding into this as we lean forward. We're keeping, it's more of a back bend, right? Yep. Good, go ahead and release out. Release the strap if you have it on the left foot. And then we'll take that on the other side. So either the strap or the hand grabs the right foot or ankle. Work towards bringing those knees any amount towards together. That intensifies the stretch for sure. And breathe here. Breathe into the front of that right thigh. And then maybe you kick the hand into the foot and you lean forward a little bit, coming into dancer pose, keeping that left hand on the back of your chair for stability. But it is perfectly fine to just stay in your quad stretch. Breathe. And gently bring it back up and release the right foot. Remember, there's always the option for that um, strap to use to help you get into that pose. So we're gonna take um, a standing pigeon pose. So options here, and this may not be realistic for some of us, but maybe we bring the right shin or calf up to the back of the chair. It's a big hip opener for that right hip. If you're like, uh-uh, that ain't gonna work for me, you can flip your chair around and Bring the right foot up to the seat of the chair. So the outer edge of the right foot is on the chair and the right knee falls open. That's another option. But wherever you are in this pose, just breathe into that right hip. And if you're seated, you can also see what it feels like to try to take a little bit of a forward fold over this. That's going to intensify that stretch in the right hip. So be respectful of your body. If that does not work for you, stay upright. This is your practice. It's not anybody else's. You do what your body needs. I just like to offer options so that everybody can benefit from the class. Whether you're a little bit more open or a little bit more tight, it doesn't matter. Yoga is yoga. Good. Come on back up. Release out of that right pigeon pose, and we'll take pigeon pose on the left. So again, the foot can, um, outer edge of the left foot can land on the chair, and then the left knee falls out to the left. Hopefully you feel that in the left hip. If you don't, you can do it the way I showed initially. That left half can come up to the back of the chair. Long straight spine, shoulders up, back and down. Perfect posture, low belly drawing in. Breathing into that left hip. And no matter where your leg is, you can play with the forward fold on this side if that feels good to you. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. We're not trying to hurt anybody here. We're just trying to connect with the breath, connect with the body, and move in ways that do bring some sensation, but absolutely no pain. So 
Lifting it. Come on up. Release that left leg. And now we are going to face the seat of the chair. We're going to come into triangle pose with the chair. So the right foot is up under the seat of that chair. The left foot is going to take a big step back. And that left foot is at a bit of a diagonal facing forward. And we're going to inhale the arms up to shoulder height. We're going to bump the left hip back as we reach the right arm forward along the horizon as far as you can go. And when you feel like, yep, I can't go any further, bring that right hand to the seat of your chair and then inhale that left arm straight up overhead. So the palm of your hand is facing the same direction as your face. So this is a big stretch for the left hip, the left side body. Breathe, slow, deep, even breaths. I am worthy of love. I live in balance with others. And release that left hand, bring it back to the seat of the chair and step up from the left foot. I'm gonna turn my chair the other way so I'm facing you. So we'll take that on the other side. So now the left toes stay under the seat of the chair. Big step back with the right foot. Right toes are at a diagonal facing forward. We inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Bump the right hip back, left arm reaches out along the horizon until you can't go any further than the left hand comes to the seat of the chair and the right arm comes up to the sky. Remember the palm is facing the same direction as your face and your gaze can be down, straight ahead or up towards that right hand, whatever feels best in your neck, whatever allows you to keep your balance. Breathing. And release the right hand to the seat of the chair. Come up on the right toes. Push off the right toes to come up to stand. And then we'll sit back down. So one more, uh, well, not one more. We're going to play with coming into prayer hands behind the back. Now that one can be a little intense. So you can always just grab opposite wrists or opposite elbows. But if you want to, you can bring the fingertips together. I can't do it too well. My shoulders aren't that open. But whatever you're doing, this is opening the heart center again to hopefully get our heart chakra spinning just the right speed. Feel the lightness in the chest. Breathe. Release either the grip or your prayer pose. And we're going to bring the knees out to a wide angle, coming into our goddess pose. So just a little gentle parentheses kind of with the arms. Feet are pushing into the earth a little bit. Breathe. And our final pose is going to be a forward fold, a wide leg forward fold. So maybe that means bringing the forearms to the knees or the elbows to those knees. And the head hangs heavy. Or perhaps the hands reach towards a block or the earth and you hang heavy here. Everybody's different. Everybody has a body, so everybody can do yoga. Breathe. Let your head hang heavy no matter where you are. Maybe nod the head yes or shake the head no to release the tension in the neck.
And if the hands are towards the floor or on the floor, go ahead and bring the elbows up to the knees. Keep the head heavy. And nice and slow, we're going to roll all the way back up. And heel toe the legs back together. We'll prepare for Shavasana or our final resting pose. So that can be taken seated in the chair. You can lie down on your back. If you're at your desk, you can rest your head on your arms. But just go ahead and take a minute to make any final wiggles, movements, adjustments as we settle in for our meditation. Lower your gaze or close your eyes wherever you are. And just take a minute to notice the effects of the class in your body. How do you feel? How do you feel letting go of expectations, judgments? Has anything shifted with all the movement we've done over the past hour? Allow yourself to feel heavy and relaxed. And I've been reading some um, captions from John O'Leary's book, In Awe, where he talks about the different senses um, and how those of us adults can learn to be a little bit more like children. Um, and this one is inviting our sense of wonder. Stay stuck in the way things have always been done or invoke the transformational power of asking old questions open to new answers. My friend, it's time to take off the brakes to return to the stance where you questioned everything. There are new possibilities that await, new solutions beckoning, new paths begging to be taken. If you dare to push, prod, to get uncomfortable and to question, why are things as they are? And is there a better way? Whose voices are you listening to? And who says that person is right? What do you see? And how might changing your perspective change your life? What if when you saw the impossible, you had the limit, limitless naivete to seek a different way? And why not release the brakes so that you can enjoy the ride of your life? Not merely questions, but invitations to do life different. I know it's possible. And now, so do you. We'll have a couple minutes of silence to meditate on our sense of wonder. Remember each time the mind comes in to ask for your attention, acknowledge that, let those thoughts float on by, bring your focus back to your breath or to your sense of wonder or to that affirmation we've been repeating throughout class.
and gently begin to deepen your breath. Bring some small movement to your fingers and to your toes. As you're ready, reach the arms up by the ears, the legs straight out in front. Give yourself a big stretch in both directions like you're just waking up. And then let it all relax back down. If you're on the earth, go ahead and roll off to either side and bring yourself up to an easy seated position. And we'll all press the palms together in front of our heart center, hoping that our heart chakra, Anahata, is spinning at the perfect speed, inviting compassion, healthy relationships with others. And let's take our affirmation one more time together on a slow inhale. I am worthy of love. Slow exhale. I live in balance with others. Thank yourself for your efforts in class today. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace because it's also within me. And in sharing these things, we are united. We are one. Namaste. Thank you. I hope you have a great week. And I hope your heart's feeling good. And we'll see you next time. Bye.